Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week 5 assignment of the course Ethical Hacking. Guys, for the past 5 to 6 years, we have been providing solutions for various courses including Ethical Hacking as well. These are completely our probable solutions guys. If there are any changes that come to our notice, if we find it ourselves, definitely we will update that in the comment section. You can also suggest your solutions as well in the comment section. So first question, where are the default Nmap scripts stored? in a typical Linux system. So for first question, option B is the probable solution. User slash share nmap scripts. So mark option B as the probable solution for first question. Guys, please watch the video till the end. Don't skip the video because if I make any changes to the solutions in between the video, you can be able to note that. So if you, in order to do that, you have to watch full video. So please watch till the end guys. So if you are new to our channel, definitely subscribe our channel and definitely like the video. If you like the video, our videos will reach more number of students and our channel as well so that they will also get benefited, right? Second question, which of the following Nmap options runs the default set of NSA scripts? So for second question, option C is the probable solution. Double hyphen script equal to default, right? So mark option C as the probable solution for second question. Now let's move on to the third one. Guys, please share this with your friends and classmates also in your WhatsApp student groups. Next, which of the following Nmap scripts checks for vulnerabilities to a slow Luris DOS attack? So for third question also, option C is the probable solution http hyphen slow loris hyphen check so mark option c as the probable solution for third question as well next moving on to the fourth question fourth question which of the following nmap scripts is used to identify the os operating system of the target system so for fourth question none of the given options is true so mark option e none of this is the correct answer none of this is the probable solution for fifth question i mean uh sorry fourth question so option e is the probable solution next moving on to the fifth one fifth question which of the following best describes the function of the crunch tool in hacking? So for fifth question, option B is the probable solution. It generates custom word list for password attacks. Custom word list for password attacks. So mark option B as the probable solution for fifth question. Next, moving on to the sixth one now. So what is the primary function of the Hydra tool in penetration testing? So sixth question. So guys, before getting to know this solution, I want to make a small announcement. So that is regarding exam preparation MCQs. So for the course ethical hacking, we have collected past assignment MCQs. You are going to get a huge number of 300 MCQs. Huge number of 300 MCQs in a Google Drive PDF restricted link. So 300 MCQs for one person 300 for two to five persons if you take it in a bulk combined group price is 500 rupees only. So two to five members can combinedly pay 500 rupees only guys. So please share this news with your friends and classmates in WhatsApp student groups. Unofficial WhatsApp student groups. So everyone make everyone aware of this. So form a group of two to five persons per each group for each every group one person take the lead and mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com so this is our email id guys if you are confirmed to make the purchase mail me to this email id so already many students and even professors have also taken the pdf with five to six years of nptl experience we are providing this these are past assignment mcqs so you'll get the pdf mcqs in a google drive pdf restricted link so such option available so 
whenever you have stopped learning the questions in between you can remember that particular keyword and you can directly search and navigate to that question easy to revise and validity will be till the exam results publishing day so no need to worry about the validity until the results publishing day you will continue to have the access and high syllabus will be covered within less time so huge number of 300 mcqs these are past assignment mcqs 100% 100% based on nptel syllabus so don't miss this guys so already many students and even professors have also taken our pack so mail me to this email id bk179417 at the red gmail.com i will let you know the payment procedure after that so please share this news with your friends and classmates 300 mcqs for 1300 if you take it along with your friends or classmates in a 2 to 5 persons combined pack that each one will get the 300 mcqs but combined price will be 500 only you can share that 500 among 5 persons or 2 persons in that group so that's it guys now let's get back to the solutions so please share the news in your whatsapp student groups and share that screenshot if you take that with your friends and classmates guys next what is the primary function of the hydra tool in penetration testing so for sixth question option d is the probable solution brute force login attempts on network services option d is the probable solution for sixth question next seventh one which tool is most appropriate for performing a brute force attack against remote login services such as telnet ftp and ssh so for seventh question option c hydra option c hydra is the probable solution next eighth one what is user enumeration user enumeration so option c once again identifying valid usernames on a target system or services next ninth question which malware records the keystrokes that are typed on the keyboard so for ninth question option a keylogger is the probable solution so mark option a as the probable solution for ninth question and moving on to the last question of the assignment that is 10th one which of the following best describes the function of arp address resolution protocol so for 10th and final question also option a is the probable solution it maps ip addresses to mac addresses in a local network so friends these are the most probable solutions for week 5 assignment of the course ethical hacking so hope this video helpful for you if you feel same definitely subscribe our channel definitely like the video and please share this with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs so for 1 person 300 for 2 to 5 persons combinedly 500 so this is the mail id bk179417 @gmail.com validity will be till the exam results publishing day so no need to worry about the validity you can get that pdf in the you'll get the mcqs in google drive pdf restricted link so that's it guys for this video so please share this news with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 300 mcqs pack this is the mail id i'll give the same email id in the description box as well so keep supporting us like this guys so until the next video goodbye thank you